Have you had any negative experiences in the industry with transphobia? Uh, yes, but it was literally on my last movie, the I Am Aubrey movie, oh, okay. with one of my partners. Really? Mm -hmm. So, like, I drove all the way. So, I was living in New York, and I have a house in Vegas too. Mm -hmm. So, I flew from New York to Vegas and drove down to LA, like, all in one day. Mm -hmm. And I had a call time of like 5 a.m. or something because I had to get in hair and makeup. And he came and he was like messaging me like on Twitter. And mm -hmm. you probably know who it is. But Oh, I do remember yes. this story. And he like came on set and like I did my whole interview. He did his whole interview. And during his interview, they asked like, are you excited like for your first trans experience or something like that? And I guess he didn't know, which I don't understand because like this was like my eighth or ninth year in the porn industry, yeah. you know? And yeah. like, I already won my three AVN awards, like performer of the year. And like, he was there, like, yeah. and he fucking shook my hand and said, congratulations. Yeah. So it was very weird. But then he left and like Aiden came up to me and she was like, um, he had a herbie outbreak. Like, just, like, totally lied to, like, not hurt my feelings. Oh, uh, okay. You know? Yeah. And, like, I don't know if he has that, but whatever. But that's, yeah. like, what she told me. She was like, he had a herpes break. Sorry, but, like, can we do somebody else? Yeah. Like, try and just, like, not kill my mood or, like, yeah. make me feel bad or sad. And then he, like, messages me. And he's like, how dare you trick me? Like, all this stuff. I was like, my very first pain of my Twitter is my dick out. You know, like it was like me holding my dick yeah. and it was like yeah. only fans, like all this stuff. Did he message you on tw on Twitter? Yeah. And it was like this whole like nasty thing and he blocked me and all this stuff. And then there was like some YouTube that was like, Aubrey Kate ruins so-and-so. And it was like this like hour like video and they're like posting up like screenshots and stuff. And I'm just like, what the heck? Wow. But that was kind of like my only time like. Yeah. Facing that. And it was just kind of a whole weird ex experience. It was like, yeah. what? Yeah. I mean, how do you feel like if somebody doesn't want to work with someone who's trans? So I have like, I guess, two different parts of that. Mm -hmm. I feel like guys are in my DM that just want to fuck me behind camera mm -hmm. and not let anybody know. Okay. Like, so then, you can go fuck off. Yeah. You know, but like if you're not into trans women and like you don't want to film with a trans woman, like who cares? Like yeah. they're just not into it, you know, like yeah. you're not making. I mean, there's some like guy performers that say they do like they do gay porn and they're straight, mm -hmm. you know, like I don't get that because like I guess I do at some sort of as well. I kind of get that because like I do not like women, like I'm mm -hmm. not sexually into women, but mm -hmm. I film a lot with women. Mm -hmm. But like, I have to, like, take a lot of dick pills and, like, have, like, porn on the back. Like, <laughs> I feel bad for the girl, but they all know. Yeah. Like, they know that I'm not yeah. into it. And it's like, I'm a lesbian for pay. Yeah, you yeah, know? I get but, it. So, I, I don't know. I guess it's kind of, like, it depends. Yeah. I mean, I think there's, sexuality can be, I think, a lot more fluid than people will accept. Yeah. And then also, there's a lot of shame, especially around men. Like, you know, having sex with like somebody who's not like a cis woman like that's right. been built into a lot of guys even if they you know have interest in that yeah that you know they're shamed for that or even like even if they like ass play in any shape or form like with a cis woman you know there's a lot of guys who have like issues around that too i think it's especially hard for men so yeah, i feel like women are a little bit more judgy yeah to be honest yeah. yeah 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 no i think yeah i think definitely i think like yeah. You know, women are, I mean, there, I remember it's definitely changed a lot now, but I remember there was a time that a lot of women in the industry would not work with a guy who'd ever, ever done gay, gay porn, porn, even yeah. if it was like 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, or like did, worked with trans or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes I would book somebody with like, say, Christian Triple X. Yeah. Right. Who worked with a lot of trans. And then the girl would find out and then she'd like, demand that I replace him. Yeah. And it's like, well, I can't, I can't tell you who to have sex with. Right. Like that's a personal choice. Yeah, no, exactly. But it's also like, right. I feel like that's where it helps with the whole yes and no list. Mm -hmm. I had more of a yes list than a yeah. no list towards yeah. the end. I was just like, <laughs> I will work with these 10 guys and those yeah. 10 guys only. Yeah. 
And then you at least know like who you're working with yeah. and you're comfortable with them and you have that chemistry and right. And that's always really And that's nice. kind of the thing with like transport too. There's literally only like 15 guys that like yeah. are active consistently to do right. porn, you know? Yeah. 